Hey, it's so great to see you guys. Uh, I really uh, miss uh, not being in Tuscany this summer, but uh, thanks for sending your wines and it'll be great to, to taste them together. Wh which wine do you want to try first? I think we can start with uh, Reserva 17. Okay. And then Single Vineyard, Poggio Valente and Safredi, both uh, 18 vintages. So 17 was a really hot and dry year. How did you, how did you manage to make uh, fresher, balanced wines? Uh, it has been very uh, regarding the work that we managed uh, in the vineyard, of course. Uh, we put uh, all our effort uh, trying to to manage the the green uh, the green harvest. Then we had uh, uh, in some vineyards uh, we have uh, the possibility to uh, make the to pull the vines the to irrigate to irrigate the vines, and so we uh, during. Uh, uh, 17 uh, summer, we decided to, to irrigate twice some Morellino's uh, vineyards. Mm -hmm. We uh, also uh, took the decision to uh, reduce the quantity in order to keep uh, a nice quality. So you had to do a selection of the grapes when you were harvesting, no? Did you use a um, uh, a um, selection table? Uh, uh, we decided uh, during, uh, if I remember well, it, it, that was the first yeah. uh, the first year. We introduced uh, a machine. It's a optical selection. Optical selection. Uh, that's it. And yeah. this was very helpful. Uh, Especially during uh, uh, this uh, this harvest, that has been a, a, a quite a hard harvest. How much smaller the production was for the 2017 Reserva? How much smaller than, let's say, normally? Thirty percent lesser quantity. Yeah. So lesser than uh, generally the average production for this wine. Is about uh, uh, fifty-five to sixty thousand bottles. Seventeen uh, lesser than forty forty thousand. Okay, so now we do. Um, Poggio Valente. Yeah. Poggio Valente eighteen. You know that with Poggio Valente, uh, we began a kind of revolution, starting from vintage uh, two thousand twelve. We decided to change completely the style of this wine. Uh, we uh, focus on the Sangiovese. So starting from that vintage 12, uh, we changed the brand, uh, taking the decision to be very focused on the Sangiovese grape and the wine became 100% Sangiovese. And then at the same time, uh, we started to uh, change uh, and making experiments on how aging the wine in wood. I think it's excellent quality, but you can see also it's a little bit lighter, uh, more refined. You taste it, you really, it's delicious now, but will age very well, but it's not super um, structurato. It's not really super structured, but I really like a nice complexity and harmony. It's a very elegant bean. Yeah, it? very. I think I like it better than 16, actually. Yeah, yeah me too. Poggio Valente? Yeah. It's, in, my, in my mind, I feel more uh, the elegance in this wine. Yeah. Than it's longer, too. It's longer. Yes. Yeah. Okay, proviamo il um, Safredi. Allora, proviamo Safredi. So, Safredi, Safredi 18. I like how it has this um, sage, rosmarino. It has herbs, but more like herbs you have in Toscana on the coast. You know, it's not vegetale, it's more these beautiful herbs in, in Maremma. 
and then tobacco, sweet tobacco, and it's very complex. Very complex. What was the final blend then? It was Cabernet Sauvignon and... Cabernet is uh, about 60. Okay, 32 is Merlot. And 8 is Petit Verdot. Very, very nice. Very beautiful wine um, and a uh, nice structure to it. It needs time though, two or three years to soften. But um, uh, um, it reminds me, interestingly of some wines from the 80s or 90s. It's much more like um, traditional sa style Safredi, which I like. It's, yeah, it's, a and I think maybe that little bit of Petit Verdot with the, um, that gives it that uh, slightly herbal spicy character makes it uh, much different than recent vintages of uh, Safredi. Uh, and not negative or positive, but just uh, more, you know, that's what happened in 18. So I really, um, I like it a lot. In comparison with 16? I wouldn't put it quite in the same league, but very close to 16 and 15. But I can understand why you um, changed the blend a little bit, just to Ooh. give it a little bit more structure and character. Yeah. You're right. So, um, and it was smart. So, okay, well, listen, um, thanks for the tasting. It was, uh, I enjoyed uh, tasting the wines. I wish I could be, could have been in Tuscany to taste with you. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.